I am R. Prabha, Assistant Professor in the Department of ECE, SNS College of Technology. In this video, we are going to see the topic Capacitance and Capacitance of Parallel Play for the course Electromagnetic Fields. So, in order to understand uh, the capacitance, consider two conducting materials M1 and M2 uh, which are placed in a dielectric medium having the permittivity epsilon. The, considering the material M1 carries a positive charge and M2 carries a negative charge, both are having equal amount of charges but only the signs are opposite. So since uh, the two materials are having equal amount of charges but in opposite sign, the total charge of the system is zero and in conductor always the charge cannot reside inside the conducting material so they, they will be on outer surface. So in the material M1 and M2, the charges reside on the outer surfaces as shown in the figure. And uh, this type of system uh, which is having two conducting materials separated by a dielectric medium is called the capacitive system and this gives rise to uh, the phenomena called the capacitance. So in order to find the formula for capacitance, uh, first considering the electric field and this is normal to the conductor surface and the electric flux is directed from M1 towards M2 because we know that the electric flux direction is always from positive charge to negative charge. So uh, there exists a potential difference between the surfaces of M1 and M2 and this is denoted by V12. And uh, the ratio of magnitude of the total charge Q on any one of the two conductors and the potential difference between the conductors is called the capacitance of the two conductor system and it is denoted by the letter C. So the formula for capacitance C for this case is given by C is equal to Q by V12 and in general the capacitance formula can be given as C is equal to Q by V. Here Q is charge uh, which is in coulombs, V is the potential difference in volts. So the capacitance is measured uh, by the unit farads. 1 farad is equal to 1 coulomb per uh, by 1 volt. And uh, by finding the formula of uh, the capacitance according to Gauss law, the charge total charge Q is equal to integral over the closed surface uh, d dot ds. Here d dot is electric flux density vector and uh, which is related with the electric field as epsilon naught epsilon r into e dot ds. And here the epsilon, uh, the medium is considered as uh, the epsilon naught epsilon r is uh, denoted by epsilon generally. So the Q formula can be modified as integral over the closed surface epsilon e dot ds. And uh, next is the voltage formula or potential difference and it is given by uh, the amount of work done by moving a charge from uh, negative to positive against the uh, electric field. So V is, is given by minus of E dot DL or uh, E is equal to integral of minus 2 plus E dot DL. So by substituting both the formulas are Q and V, C can be written as uh, integral over the closed surface epsilon e dot ds divided by minus uh, integral e dot dl. So from this formula we can understand that the capacitance of any system depends upon the physical dimension of the system and also the permittivity depends on the permittivity of the dielectric medium. So now we are going to see how to calculate the capacitance value when the capacitors are connected in series and in parallel. So when the capacitors are connected in parallel, uh, the total capacitance can be found by adding all the values of the capacitor directly. So to C equivalent is equal to, that is the, when the capacitors are in parallel, it is summation J is equal to 1 to N Cj. So all the capacitor values are added and we get the total capacitance. And when the capacitors are connected in series, we get the formula 1 by C equivalent is equal to summation J is equal to 1 to N 1 by Cj. So capacitance are in series, we can add uh, one uh, reciprocal value 
1 by c equivalent is equal to 1 by c1 plus 1 by c2 plus 1 by c3 etc. So this is an example circuit. So here the two capacitors are in parallel which are in series with the another capacitance. So in order to find out the total capacitance value, the two parallel capacitors values are directly added. So for example, if C1 is 12 microfarads, C2 is equal to 5.3 microfarads. Since they are parallel, we can directly add. So 12 plus 5.3 is 17.3 microfarads. So this is in parallel with 4.5 microfarads capacitance. So we get 1 by C equivalence equal to 1 by uh, C12 plus 1 by C3. So uh, in this way, the final value of capacitance can be found. It is 3.57 microfarads. So now uh, we come to uh, calculation of the capacitance for parallel plates. So this is the simple case, the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor calculation. So consider two parallel plates having the area A and let the di distance between uh, distance of separation between the two parallel plates is D. And uh, the two uh, plates, in between the two plates there will be a dielectric material having the permittivity epsilon. So in this case, since um, the electric field is constant, so this is very easy to calculate and uh, the geometry is simple, only the area and plate separation are uh, important in this case. So uh, the parallel plate capacitance uh, finding is a very basic one and very easy one to calculate. So here to calculate the capacitance first we should determine the electric field between the parallel plates. So this is obtained from Gauss law. So with one end of our uh, Gaussian surface closed inside the plate and the other end closed in the region between the plates we get uh, Q is equal to epsilon naught EA and uh, here epsilon naught uh, closed integral E dot DA is nothing but Q because we know that Gauss law gives total charge is equal to total electric flux. So Q is equal to integral of e epsilon naught E dot ds or uh, since the electric field is constant we can easily return the Q value as epsilon naught E into A. And uh, potential difference V in this case is uh, minus integral of E dot ds and uh, this can be uh, written as since E is constant the potential difference can be easily written as E into D that is electric field into uh, distance between the plates, distance of separation between the plates. So finally the capacitance formula C is equal to Q by V, Q is epsilon naught E A divided by E D. So here uh, both electric field in numerator and denominator get cancelled. So the capacitance of parallel plate capacitor C is equal to epsilon naught A divided by D. So here epsilon naught is permittivity of the dielectric, A is nothing but the area of the plate, D is distance of separation uh, between the plates. So from this formula we can understand that the capacitance of the parallel plate is directly proportional to the permittivity of the dielectric medium uh, and also the area of the plate and it is inversely proportional to the distance of separation between the uh, parallel plates. And now the assessment questions. What is minimum capacitance and how to calculate uh, the capacitance and uh, the potential difference of a parallel plate capacitor and uh, what is the capacitance of a parallel plate capacitor as we discussed earlier. Thank you.